This is Boxing Tickets NA. We're here at the McAnell Nights promotion show in Galway. And delighted to be joined by Victorious Carl Murphy. On, on paper, I guess the last time, obviously, he had an opponent from Tanzania and it probably wasn't worth the sort of. Well, not to say it wasn't worth it, but obviously, it wasn't a match for you. There's a different contrast to that opponent tonight. I look, I knew it would be because I was studying him on tape and I knew he threw bombs from the start, like, and that's what I was going to ping. And, here, uh, he only won one round out of uh, eight on the judges' sco uh, Paul McCulloch scorecard. So, happy enough, yeah, from the performance, came and put on a show. Uh, his blood was everywhere, I'm a bit marked up, so hope the crowd enjoyed it. You always wanted an away day, and I remember we'd done interviews before, up in Glee and stuff, the guy you were saying, I want an away day. Is this sort of a wee taster for you, sort of getting you to go away before you can go to sort of more bigger away day cards, like Potty obviously had, and Germany, and, and America, and things like that? Does this give you a wee taste now for an away day? Ah, it's the whole cake, I'd say, because at the end of the day, it's probably easier to get the fly to London or Manchester than get down to here, so this is perfect. I think you done a lot of sleeping in the car on the way down, did you? <laughs> yeah, but it's July, my dad drove me down, so grateful for him, get me down. I wouldn't risk the roads. <laughs> Obviously, in the fight, sort of talked me through it, sort of, it seemed to be, that it seemed to be a, like a sort of firefight sometimes at stages in the fight, he sort of rocked a wee bit in the fifth. Is it probably fair to say that probably the best punch you've sort of been, you've been hit with, obviously, in your 11 fights so far? Well, in my amateur days, I've been rocked worse, and he, he caught me a good one. I uh, went hook for hook with a hooker and turned into it, so uh, just it's a learning curve. It might serve me well in the long run, but before that, he was all busted up, and I won all the rest of the rounds. Uh, I just decided to be smart and hold on for a wee bit extra, just to play it smart. So, yeah, showed some experience. and. Box clever, in my opinion. I guess that, 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 that's, that's a good thing for you, obviously, if you're having to come through sort of adversity in a fight. Sort of sometimes people get hit and they go to ground and then they're, they're gone. You obviously you used your experience that you, you built up through the amateurs and the pros, where you need to hold on for a bit to make sure your legs were back under you again. And then from from then, like with well, around six onwards, you just dominated from then on, on in. Yeah, and I'd say I even rocked him towards the end of uh, the last round too, so that's a way to show balls, show heart, and show even smart, and this is the man's game, so happy enough, a lot of takeaways from it. That's two fights, obviously, in 2024 now. When I last spoke to you the next day, your fight was was thinking of going, was it my fault we're not asking when would you like to be out next? And I guess Mark's, Mark's doing a great job with it, obviously keeping you busy at the start of the year. Is it the sort of thing now for you, as I guess last time it was a eliminator for Commonwealth belts, is that what you sort of want to do next, as you, you obviously want to be in a position to fight for one of them Commonwealth titles? Yeah, well, Mark's put me in that position, and uh, now he's telling me to take, take a wee bit of a rest, because as two fights so quickly, you know, it's a big push in 2024, and as my you know, record's going up, uh, like 11 and 0, when would dream to have been in this position at the start, start of my career so you know obviously as you start to rack up more wins you take some more time in between fights so a bit of a gamble for this one at this stage of your career but happy yeah and uh, looking forward to getting back out probably in summer and the magic man's obviously delivering once again obviously Conor Quinn obviously same with Frank Warren does that give you a taste now to go right Mark let's get me same a big promoter I guess it probably makes it real to you in a way that you're seeing someone else's your promotional stable is doing it. It's not like it was James Tennyson or Tommy McCarthy in the past where you haven't grown together with someone. So does it make it real for you now that there could be potential of a, a promotional deal coming for Colin Murphy? Yeah, that definitely down the line. But look, I'm 24, so I've still got plenty of time. And, you know, fights like this are the experience you need before you want to maybe go on the a promoter's big stage because uh, once you get there, there's no real going back. So that's what I mean. Still a wee bit of patience, I'd say, on my front. No rush for me. It's fair to say, obviously, we're, we're seeing a bit more of the power sort of coming there as well. I've seen you throw a lot of looping right hands. Is Dan but obviously working a lot with you and obviously trying to, to make you into like a one-pound sort of KO man now? No, not really. Just boxing the way I am, playing the my strengths. You know, everyone's different and... Uh, as a rain, I have my strengths that, that uh, I'm not James Townsend at the end of the day. Don't have that one punch knockout. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe down the line it might, but at the end of the day, I'm probably more just a volume puncher, so yeah. And obviously, if you're having a bit of downtime now, obviously, what will the St. Patrick's celebrations be? Will you be trying some chicken wings down here? Oh, yeah, I'll be looking at the food fronts. Uh, I've seen a few food, few, uh, food challenges and they've been tempting me, but probably just be a waste of food at the end of the day <laughs> but I would love to do that <laughs> yeah, well, listen congratulations on moving to 11-0 and I'm sure we'll catch up with you very very soon yeah thank you very much